Good morning, good afternoon, good evening guys, wherever you are in this beautiful world, whenever you're watching this video, welcome to the Bitcoin family channel. The newcomers, my name is Didi. Yes, walking and talking the beach again here on beautiful Phuket. I was just driving here and I passed by this beautiful parade, music and culture in the morning already. Like that's why I love Thailand guys. In today's video again amazing bitcoin charts some really cool information about the news why the bitcoin pump also talking about a trading tip a travel tip and some live advice everything that you use for me uh, in these daily video guys except today again beautifully on the beach here in phuket let's jump into the first part the charts of today bam The first chart of today guys is this one the daily chart yes uh, i've been using it now the last couple of days because it's going to show you something very important again now on the daily chart we told you okay we are going to beautifully um, find support on that green line and then from that green line we are going to fight against that red line and the moment we break above that red line the two on a daily moving average that is a very important moment now we need to keep support on that red line now so this candle is going to close in 22 hours if this candle is closing above that red line that's a very positive candle close that means we're finding support in the 200 day moving average which means we are building a structure to be able to break at 28,560 level guys that's the level we are targeting to break when we break that we can take it all the way up to 30k guys so there will be a moment that, that green line will cross that red dotted line again and that will be the moment that we will see a bullish cross a golden cross which again will be an indication for bitcoin to go explosively up again guys now let's jump into the next chart we are zooming out a little bit this chart guys it's very clear it's showing you why you should be buying bitcoin now i still don't understand why people are now exchanging bitcoin for fiat at these low levels that light green color is indicating yet yeah, that was a bear market bottom now when we go to darker green and blue it means we had the bottom and we are going to go up from that moment again so we are now in that darker green area we are going to go in those blue dots these are the moments you should be accumulating bitcoin dollar cost average buy bitcoin at these moments yes of course the black swan event can always happen but i don't see that one happening now you should be buying bitcoin if you want to enjoy those red orange yellow dots all the way to the top of the bull market cycle you should be accumulating bitcoin now not selling bitcoin for fiat not even doubting about ah maybe bitcoin will drop 1k or 2k and then buy back later why the fuck would you do that just create peace of mind by believing that the bitcoin four year cycle will play out again you buy bitcoin now you hold it you don't look at the markets all the way to 2025 and then when you're at a bull market top you start to sell or exchange into stable coins again this chart is showing exactly the same guys it's a bitcoin yearly candles even more zoomed out every candle is a year three green candles one red candles that's the bear market three green candles one red candle that's the bear market again three green candles and again one red candle was the bear market now we are building the first green candle in 2023 the second green candle will be 2024 the third green candle will be 2025 i can't make it more simple than that guys and the first of those three green candles is mostly the smallest green candle so you can expect an explosive 2024 and 25 and after that we will get a red candle in 2026 it's very simple that were the only charts for today guys i hope you really enjoyed the charts guys if you did enjoy those charts then please give this video already a thumbs up okay and leave a comment what do you think about the charts do you have another opinion do you think we are gonna crash to 20k or lower even in bitcoin let me know down below in the comment but for me it's a very simple thing every time and again you need to zoom out in bitcoin look at the bigger picture guys don't freak out on the minute charts look at the monthly or even the yearly charts if you want uh, and zoom in at life guys try to enjoy every single minute day 
for example, walk the beach every day or have sex every day with your wife or walk your dog. I don't know what makes you happy, but what makes you happy, you need to do most of that during the day, like as much as possible. Now, let's jump into the trading tip. The trading tip for today, guys, is a very important one. You need to understand the psychology of the market cycle. And to understand the psychology of the market cycle, there is a chart. They call it the Wall Street cheat sheet. And this cheat sheet, cheat sheet, <laughs> is telling you how the emotions, the psychology of the human beings, go through a market cycle. And I'm gonna explain it by using that chart. This one, bam. As you can see, there are different stages on that chart. We have a disbelief stage, then we have a hope stage, then we have optimism, then we have belief, thrill and then we have euphoria and euphoria is mostly when we reach that top that's when you see all the social media influencers posting their new Lamborghinis their new houses they do one million dollar watches their new one million dollar shoes jackets and all the other stuff that is when euphoria is there and that is the moment we will see a bull market top and that's the moment you should be selling and you see all those lunatics posting all that shit that they are buying that's the moment you should be selling because from there we will see a crash then we will go to the complacency phase then to anxiety denial panic anger depression and it starts over again with disbelief i believe we are now in between disbelief and the hope phase some people still don't believe that the bull market is on they still believe ah we're gonna crash to 15k again they disbelieve this four-year cycle and the bull market and from here, when the Bitcoin prices goes up towards the halving, they will go into the hope phase. Wow, I hope this is really the bull market. And then when Bitcoin goes from 30k to 40k to 50k, then they become optimistic again. Then they're like, yes, now it's really the bull market. The beautiful part is, we, if you listen to me correctly in the last couple of months, bought Bitcoin already below 20k. So when we get the optimism phase, we can already take a shitload of profit. And that's what we're gonna do. We're gonna sell a little bit around that phase. And we're gonna sell a little bit around the belief phase and the thrill phase and the euphoria phase. That's dollar cost averaging out of Bitcoin. And when do we start buying again? When there is panic and when there is anger and when there is depression. That is when we buy back Bitcoin in 2026, 27. That is how the psychology of a market cycle works. That was the trading tip for today. Now let's quickly jump now into the travel tip. The travel tip is a very simple one. Always buy a microfiber towel. They are very lightweight towels. They dry a thousand times faster than a normal regular towel. So always have when you're backpacking or traveling all over the world it's very handy to have a microfiber towel because they are very light not like a massive heavy towel in your backpack and it's drying thousand times faster than your regular towel so a very short travel bit always have a microfiber towel with you because it saves you a lot of space weight and yes also a lot of time when it comes to drying The news for today guys is an answer on the question of the news of yesterday because now the reason why that fake news came out on Cointelegraph and why the Bitcoin price pumped 2k in a couple of minutes and was clarified by Cointelegraph in their own news website of course also on Twitter uh, the reason for this was there is a telegram group that they use um, to highlight new potential beautiful subjects to write an article and in the telegram group one of the employees posted hey listen uh, there's a screenshot on twitter that on bloomberg there is a news item that now spot etf for blackrock is being approved so normally the process would be that they need to get approval to make a social media item of that the person that posted it on twitter didn't ask for approval to get a social media item and he just posted or she just posted we don't know so by then it was a gossip and at the end of, of contract they need to remove that tweet 
but the damage was already done. The damage, let's be honest, was pretty sincere. It was more than $100 million worth of Bitcoin liquidated because of that bug. Many people are still expecting a short. They were not watching my videos. I told them we will not see that short. So they were liquidated. So the damage is massive. And Cointelegraph, of course, uh, uh, apologized for this. But to be honest, every company that has a shitload of employees, this can happen. These are just, uh, these are human mistakes. You can't rule out human mistakes. Maybe that's why ChatGPT and all that artificial intelligence is going to take over all those jobs. But even they in the future can probably make mistakes. And then we need to like pull out the batteries or something. Now, for this person, I think she lost her job or he lost her job because the account was already deleted in the Telegram group. Uh, a big mistake, but mistakes do happen, guys. And that's why it's important that you also look at TA. Wow, the, the C came up like really fast now. Uh, also look at TA and not only at the news, guys. Now, that was the news for today. Turning around for the inspirational tip, guys. The inspirational tip for today is a very powerful one. Setting goals is the first step in making the invisible visible. It's a very powerful step that most people forget to take. You need to set your goals to make the invisible visible, guys. Take your pen and paper. Write down your goals. Your goals in life, your goals in finance, your goals in passions, whatever goals write down those goals make that invisible visible for you so you can go and fight and reach those goals very important always make the invisible visible by setting your goals if for example you're now doubting about bitcoin set your goals of bitcoin first what is your goal to invest in bitcoin is your goal to become filthy rich is your goal to support decentralization of the world what is your goal and what is your target so always set your goals first because that will make the invisible visible guys which brings me to the last part of the video answering the questions of one of you guys down below the video yesterday it's two questions i'm going to answer the first question was about dd bitcoin is so volatile i understand dca buying um, all around the bottom and selling all around the top and buying against around the bottom i understand the dca but bitcoin is way too volatile um, for it to become a valid asset like a very peer-to-peer cash he feels safer by being in euros or dollars okay that was the first question and the second question was what is the minimum amount of bitcoins that somebody should own now i'm gonna tie those two questions together guys now for me, it's very important that you guys understand that we are all in as the Bitcoin family. All our capital is in Bitcoin. There is a reason for that. Because we believe in a deflationary asset that will increase in value during time. Most of you guys still have the belief and the trust in central banks currencies like the euro or the dollar and you believe that that will increase in value but the thing that i'm teaching you now every day again and again and again is the euro and the dollar will never increase in value it can't increase in value it's being printed out of thin air a shit load is being printed out of thin air which is creating inflation and yes of course your bank account is still showing thousand euros or ten thousand euros and that's not volatile it keeps showing you 10,000 euros the volatile part in euros and dollars is what can you buy for the 10,000 euros inflation 10,000 euros you were used to be able to buy shitload of stuff now you're able to buy only 50 percent of that shitload of stuff because of the inflation yes your bank account still shows you ah you have 10,000 euros but you can buy less and less and less so the volatility is not on the currency the volatility is in the products that you buy with that currency and if that currency stays at the same rate you will be buying less and less and less of those goods that you want to buy and bitcoin is exactly the opposite it's deflationary bitcoin is not being printed out of thin air there is mathematics behind it that's why the halvings occur 
every four years less bitcoins are being mined because there is a halving from april 2024 we're going to mine 50 percent of the amount of bitcoins that we're mining today and that's going to continue all the way to the year 2140 when the last bitcoin will be mined so there is no influence of centralized entities like the fed or any other central bank that is going to print a shitload of bitcoins out of thin air which makes it a deflationary asset and yes bitcoin is very volatile goes up and down up and down but on average let's be honest it only has gone up you are focusing on the short term's volatility look at the long term it's only being going up in the last seven years of our family being all in life has become cheaper every year we buy more for our bitcoins now than we bought in 2016 we buy more for our bitcoins now than we bought in 2019 also in 2020 only the year 2021 was the year when we could buy more for our bitcoins because bitcoin was 60k at that moment but on average our buying power has increased tremendously since we are all in bitcoin so yes there is volatility but not when you zoom out then it's a deflationary asset that is increasing your buying power every cycle that's the exact opposite of what your euro and your bank account is doing it is decreasing your buying power every year now to give that answer on the second question how many bitcoin should someone own you should be all in bitcoin all of your capital everything you earn monthly should be in bitcoin that is how you protect your wealth you don't protect your wealth by keeping your capital in euros or dollars you need to use deflationary assets of course you could also use gold or for example real estate but they all have been proven to not be able to compete with the return of investment of bitcoin bitcoin is the best performing asset out there in the last decades that is why a spot ETF will be there that is why Grayscale wants it BlackRock wants it all of these huge international companies want to have Bitcoin it's not because it's like a hype it it is because it has been proven to be the best performing asset in decades that's the reason it's deflationary it is the gold of the 21st century but all of you should be all in you have your salary you can live from your salary but if you have money left from that salary save it in Bitcoin don't save it on your bank account in a savings plan that will give you 3% a year fuck that 3% a year Bitcoin has been giving 40 to 60% a year so zoom out all your savings should be in Bitcoin and not in an inflationary asset like euros or dollar that's how it is now that was my answer to those two questions guys i hope you really enjoyed the answer and i also hope you really enjoyed the complete video if you did enjoy the video and give this video a thumbs up share with your friends and family subscribe to the channel hit the notification bell and leave a comment what do you think about all the charts and all the information guys also let me know what you think about uh, the mic because i've read a few comments down below that the mic was not good so let me know if the mic is not performing so today I wasn't able to end my video with a beautiful woman, with a beautiful ass, with a beautiful bikini, but today I ended my video with two guys. I don't know if they were handsome, but that was for all you girls out there that are watching my video. <laughs> Thanks for watching this video today, guys. I hope you really enjoyed it. Again, give it a thumbs up, share with your friends and family, subscribe to the channel, hit the notification bell, and leave a comment. What do you think about everything I just shared? See you tomorrow again. Bam.